Hello and welcome back to Will You Press the Button? So let's jump right in. You will successfully survive the zombie apocalypse with limitless, limitless water, food, water, and shelter. But the person you care most about will become a zombie. I don't know if I could because I would love to survive the zombie apocalypse, but the person I care most about, I, I can't do it. What if 55% uh, of people agree with me? Santa Claus is real, but every other holiday you know never gets celebrated again. No, because that means I could get a chance at getting coal. That was a pretty good one. You become a virtuoso of your favorite musical instrument, but you'll never become famous during your own lifetime. Your talents will only be appreciated after you die. That's sort of like Vincent Van Gogh. He was an amazing painter. But in his lifetime, he never sold even one painting. It was all after he died. Oh, but speaking of my musical instrument, um, I just bought, uh, I ordered online an ocarina and a harmonica. Uh, I want to try to get into that type of stuff. Um, yeah, you know what? I, I, you know, yeah, I'll press the button. 64% of people agreed with me. You become what you want to be in life, but you have no one to share it with. No! That's the most boring. That's the saddest existence in the world. You understand all truths of the universe, but you can never talk to others again. I'm the most introverted extrovert ever. Like, I love being around people, but it wears me out so much. Like, but then I can't be alone for too long. So, like... Never being able to talk to others again, that would be fate worse than death. 59% of people agree with me. Though I did kind of like that. You would be able to forget anything you wanted, but you have to give up all alcohol for the next 30 days. Well, seeing as one, I've never taken a drink of alcohol in my life. Two, I don't plan on taking a drink of alcohol in my life. Three, I'm too young to take a drink of alcohol. And four, just no. 84% of people agree with me. Yeah, see this guy down here? I don't drink. 46 years old. Huh. That was a pretty good one, because it had, like, no downside. You become super intelligent, but you become a vegetarian, able, unable to communicate your ideas. No! I was going to become a vegan, then I remembered bacon. Or, no, I was going to become a vegetarian, then I remembered bacon. That was a quote from Life is Strange. No, that was a, that was a bad one. I don't like that. You can see through all clothing... But you cannot turn the power off. Ooh, so like that would mean. Uh... Yeah, no, I'm gonna have to say no just because. Ooh. Oh god. Yeah. That was a bad one. Everyone will find you attractive in real real life. You will look like shite. On pictures, movies, anything media related to the point where people think you are disgusting. I don't know. I'm going to have to say no. Just for the fact that it's just like, mm, I don't know, that's kind of a hard one to do. You regenerate your eternal youth. You regenerate, you have eternal youth, and if you die, you, will, you are resurrected within an hour. But every death leaves you with a permanent scar, and each time you die, there is a 1% chance you wake up with no memories. But no one else would be immortal as well. So I'm going to say no. But that was a pretty good one. You have the ability to change into any object or person, but you will never be able to change back to yourself. I will not. You know, that was a pretty good one. You will no longer require sleep and always be energetic, but everyone will find you repulsive and refuse to talk to you. Same thing. It's like not being getting eternal youth or whatever, or being super smart or something, and not being able to talk to anyone. I will not press the button. I don't like that one. Uh, your crush or crushes, Amatkarai, immediately falls in love with you and dates you. And you get 
kissing, cuddling, or anything you desire. But they also punch you in the face once a day to show <laughs> their affection, and you can never leave the relationship. It's one punch, man! Would I? Like, for the one I love, like, would I be able to do that? Oh. But what if it's only, like, puppy love, or, like, the love goggles or something? And then you realize, like, they're not actually who you thought they would be, or... Well, you know, like... I would love to be... For the person I love to fall in love with me. But the fact is, like... I wouldn't know if it was real, since we can't leave. Or I would go in the relationship, and then I would just start hating getting punched in the face every day. It would depend. It also depends on how hard they hit. But I'm gonna have to say no. I'm gonna end it here. So long, guys.